So I chose stroke because when I was young, I grew up in a small apartment in New York City. And in addition to my mother and father, I'm an only child, my grandmother, my mother's mother, lived with us. And she was a wonderful woman, an immigrant from Europe. And uh, she was always there for me, just like a, a third parent. And um, when I was 12, she had a stroke. And this wonderful woman who was very vivacious and um, was great at, at talking to me and being with me all the time, <clears throat> suddenly was unable to speak or use the right side of her body. And in those days, there was nothing that we could do for stroke. Um, it was a disease where people just, you know, lingered and died. And so it left a really important impression on me. And so as I was going through medical school, I realized that here's a disease that affects 750,000 people each year, and we have virtually no therapies. And I wanted to do something to be aggressive and to help people um, get better from this devastating disease. And we can now. This is a very uh, complicated age of medicine. We have great technology. We know what to do in many circumstances, but at times we actually over apply the technology. So I think that great physicians know when to use technology and importantly when not to use technology. And just because there is a new drug or a new device out there doesn't mean that we should be using it. So what's really important to me as a physician and the reason that I love to drive to work every day is because I like to work with my patients. It's a partnership. I enjoy talking. I love when my patients bring in articles or challenge me about certain issues because it's their body, it's their decisions, and I'm there to help them, not to force anything upon them. So that's what I really enjoy. I enjoy the interactions with patients and families, and I think that it's really important in this age of great technology of knowing when to apply it and when to avoid it.